there's a lot of excitement about because we've got results from the first vaccine against COVID-19. Pfizer has announced that its anti-coronavirus vaccine, developed in partnership with German company BioNTech, is 90% effective. It was thought that we might get a vaccine that was 40% or 50% effective. So to get 90% in these early results is really quite astonishing. This vaccine is unlike any that's been developed in the past. It's based on a new technology called mRNA. That's messenger RNA. So instead of using a piece of the virus or a dead virus or attenuated virus, this vaccine actually puts in the genetic code into the body, which is thought to be a lot safer. So the body thinks that the virus is there, it thinks it's being attacked, and it mounts an immune response with antibodies and hopefully T-cells as well. So if it's licensed, this is going to be the very first vaccine using this technology. It will also be the fastest one ever to have been approved. The mumps vaccine was developed very fast and that took five years. This is taking less than one year from the lab bench through to use in humans. The World Health Organization has said that the most vulnerable people in every country must have the vaccine first. And that's going to include healthcare workers in a lot of countries. In the UK, the first priority is going to be for care home residents and the people who work there, because it's been very clear that they've been at high risk of dying from this disease. After that come the NHS workers and the over 80s, and then progressively younger and younger age groups down to the age of 50. That's the first phase, and the government scientists say that that should cover 99% of those people who are actually at risk of dying from this disease. We haven't had the full details yet from the clinical trials, so there are a lot of things we don't know. We don't know if it works differently in different age groups, for instance, and we don't know how long the effects of the vaccination are going to last. But crucially, we don't know if the vaccine is going to stop transmission of the disease. We know that it stops people becoming ill, but we don't know if it stops them becoming infected, and we don't know if it stops them infecting other people, so transmitting it to others. This vaccine does have one major drawback, which is that it has to be kept in what's called ultra cold chain. That means it must be stored in freezers at around minus 70 to minus 80 degrees. So that's going to be a serious problem for some of the low income countries who certainly don't have freezers of that sort. It may even be a problem for some of the affluent countries who will have to step up their cold chain. Also, you need two doses of this vaccine three weeks apart. That means that you won't be protected for about 28 days after the first jab, because it takes about seven days to take effect. There is a lot of concern about these vaccines, simply because of the speed at which they're being developed. But the regulators have said that they will not cut corners and that for them, safety is paramount. The UK has pre-ordered 40 million doses of this vaccine and Europe and the United States between them have ordered hundreds of millions as well. Pfizer and BioNTech have said that they will manufacture 50 million doses in 2020 and then a further 1.3 billion in 2021. That's clearly not enough for the 7 billion people on the planet, so we will need other vaccines too. But also, some vaccines will have strengths that others don't. They will all be slightly different, and some may work better in some populations than others. For instance, they may work better in the elderly population. Life won't be going back to normal just yet. We've got a lot of people to vaccinate. And before that, we don't know all the details of how this vaccine will work. However, these are very promising results rather better than most people expected. So I think there's no doubt we're on the road to normality. We just don't know how long that road is.